Hello, dear traders. My name is Tim, and these are the main trading ideas for current trading session. First of all, let's discuss the situation with USD Japanese yen. Yesterday, the USD Japanese yen advances to a four year high above 116 for the seventh day in a row after beginning the session. The market sentiment is downbeat as hawkish Fed signals that it could rise rates sooner to tame inflation. The US central bank might hike rates sooner than expected, followed by the beginning of reducing its assets holdings, as Fed officials discussed in the meeting. Following the release of the minutes, futures of the federal fund rates were pricing in an 80% possibility of a 25 basis point hike by the US Central Bank. Next, GBPUSD. Pound showed a bullish dynamic during the yesterday's session, having reached a high at 1.36 level. The market sentiment remains mixed. In addition to the Fed linked talks and market reaction, fears of South African COVID wearing Omicron also affected the market's risk appetite, as well as the GBPUSD prices. Also, GBPUSD pair may remain pressured due to hawkish hopes from the Fed. Today's UK services PMI for December will be important because it's expected to confirm initial numbers after the manufacturing PMI jump. Monthly data of the US Good Trade Balance and ISM services PMI for December will also closely watched by traders, as well as weekly numbers of US jobless claims. And uh, finally, uh, WTI. WTI bearish US inventory numbers impacted oil markets, and they are growing after pulling back with a front month WTI rebounding from 77 support level. WTI oil reached 78.50 level during Wednesday, which was the highest price since 25 of November, the day before Omicron filled the financial markets. There hasn't been any one notable catalyst for the Wednesday bullish moves. Traders uh, keep watching Tuesday's APEC Plus decision to press ahead with uh, existing plans uh, to uh, hike output in February. The decision has been uh, taken by some uh, market participants as a vote of uh, confidence in the oil market's ability to take more supply. Also, where oil prices were supported by bearish uh, weekly U.S. Energy Administration crude oil inventory report. Crude oil stocks uh, saw a smaller than expected drop of uh, uh, 2.1 million barrels, but uh, this will probably have a short-term effect uh, considering the APEC plus plans. So these are the main trading ideas for now. Thank you for your attention and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.